and assistant professors in the room. In this chapter, we will learn the different functions of databases. In previous session, we had learned using PHP to access a database. Different functions for this: opening the database connection, closing the database connection, then how to create the database, then PG page room, PG page array. Okay, this different function we have covered in a previous class. Now we will learn PG page associate. Okay. This A S H O C means your associative array. Okay, this P G page associative H A row as an associative array. Okay, we are using now this as an associative array. Actually, this is equivalent to P G page array with P G S Q L. Okay, with P G S Q L associative as the optional third parameter. When this is the same with the P G page array. When there is a third parameter, P G S Q L associative, okay, then it is a set. It only returns an associative array. And the syntax for this is array. See, you can write in this way also array. P G page associative in bracket write the resource result and then int row. Okay. See what are the parameters? Resource result and int row. These are the two parameters. In that resource result is a compulsory and row is optional parameter. Here is our example uh, for this. See, dollar connection equals to PG connect. We are using the PG connect function here. The database name is the publisher. You can take the any database name. If not dollar connection, if this connection is uh, not here, okay. So uh, display the error equals an error occurs and exit from. Dollar result equals to PG query. To the function PG query, dollar connection. Then select ID, author name, email from student. Okay, here we are using the one query. Select ID, author from email from the author, and save it into the result. If not result, then display the error. Otherwise, why dollar row equals to PG page associated. Okay, now here we are printing our array. Contains as a associative array. Okay, so we will use the function pg page associative, and this result, this answer, uh, this result set will be here. Okay, so we will get the dollar row, dollar author, dollar name, and all information about this array. Next function is our pg page object. Okay, next function is pg page object. It fetches a row as an array. Why we are using? It fetches a row as an object, and syntax for this is object. Then pg page object into that is resource dollar result comma int row. The syntax is resource dollar result and int row. And uh, also there are the optional parameters are there. Okay. Pg page object returns an object. Okay. What it will return? It will return an object with the properties. That corresponding to the page rows field name. Okay, it can optionally instantiate an object of a specific class and pass parameters to that class constructor. Means what? See, here we are using the PG page object. We can an object with a property. It will return an object with a property that corresponding to the page rows field name. Which property? Uh, a property of whom? The corresponding, okay, corresponding to the page rows field name. It can optionally instantiate. It can, uh, it can optionally create an object of a specific class and pass parameters to that class constructor. Okay, we are uh, using this optionally. Then in that different parameters are the result. Okay, first parameter is your. Uh, we are using here the result. Then second is the row. Row number is the result to set. Okay, here we are setting from the zero. Okay, rows are numbered from the zero. So here is the parameter which is result from the row from the result type. Okay, so this is the row number. Then result type. Okay, uh, this is the name and the title. Class name. The name of the class is something. The special name. The special name that we have just created for us. So pass this name. Okay. Then para. Okay, here an optional array. Of parameters to pass to the constructor for the class name object. Okay, these are the different parameters. Just go through it. As a 
compulsory parameter is a result other as it called optional parameter. And here is one example for this CG stage object. Dollar beta base equals to two or dollar DB connection CG connect. Host equals to local host. Host equals to 5432. Database name equals to dollar database. If dollar DB underscore connection. If there is no uh, this variable. Then if you fail connecting to force create database, dollar Okay, directly this is the next. See, next is CG query, file query, dollar BP connection. Okay, we are using this query over here. Let's form book order by object. While dollar data is just a CG fake object, we are using the function here CG fake object for this dollar Q. And then here we can print it. Okay, print the data. Actually, for what we are using this object is to take a row as an object. So it will display the all the data here. Data, uh, data, author, then year, then uh, title. Okay. Then CG3 result. Okay. Then use this function. Then CG3 database connection. After you finish with this, then you can close. After this, next function is CG stage result. This is the next function. This function returns the value of particular row and column in a result. Okay. What it will return? It will return the value of particular row and column. Page is fetch result where we store dollar result into row. You can specify the row. Next dollar six. Okay, you can specify this argument. So PG fetch result. See here. Sometimes the syntax is a result dollar result. Next six. Okay. PG fetch result. In this way also we can use it. Return the value of a particular row and fill the column in the Postgres SQL result. Okay. The result Postgres SQL query result resources written by the PG query. Okay. So row number is the result to fix. Okay. So we will need to specify the row number. Okay. We will need to specify the row. This is what this is your result. Result means what Postgres SQL query result result. Okay. This first parameter is about the result. Second parameter is your uh, row. Okay, so row number. Then this field. Next is third one is the field. A string representing the name of the field means uh, your columns into field. Otherwise, an int representing the field number to field. And fields are number from the zero upwards. This is about the field. This, uh, this is the explanation of this system. Three parameters result, row, and name. Why we are using the result? The Postgres SQL query result resources written by the PG query. Then the next one is the rule. Next one is C. Next is PG page result example. Okay. PG page result example. Here is the one example. Here we are using the yellow DB page PG connect database name. If it is not, then the die or die. Okay. Dollar result, dollar result is the PG query. Uh, say it is uh, inside the RUS and PG query then I'll do this with star from database. Here we are assigning the one value PG stage result. We are using the function PG stage result from this result say 1 comma 0. See in uh, here the int roll uh, row and the next field. Okay, so here is we are giving the one comma 0. First field in the second row is so it will uh, give you the Value, the values of the PG stage result function. We will give that here. Next is your after PG uh, result, next is PG num fit. Okay, for what we are using this function? Function returns the number of columns in your result set. How many columns in your result say So, uh, this function returns this. Okay, for this we are using the uh, function in. See, you can write the uh, data type after the colon or you can just type here int pg num field in bracket resource result. Okay, so you will get how many columns in a particular database. Suppose here you are selecting the other column, select one column. Okay, so in that, how many columns are there? So it's the reason from the region of this. The next function is pg num rows. See, it returns the number of rows in the region. So what it will return? It will return the number of rows in a result set. Here, PG num rows resource dollar result. Okay, we are using the value type in, in PG num rows resource dollar result. 
ओके इसका जो रिटर्न के नंबर ऑफ रोज इन द रिजल्ट से हाउ मेनी रोज इन द रिजल्ट से मिल जाती है फॉलो सो हियर वी आर यूजिंग द पीजी क्वेरी फॉर देन पीजी नंबर ऑफ रोज सो पास दिस रिजल्ट एज अ पैरामीटर सो यू विल गेट हाउ मेनी रोज इन फाइव डे ओके नेक्स्ट फंक्शन यू विल सी द पीजी रिजल्ट एरर सी all functions we are using we can uh, use in a uh, single example or in a different example okay this function returns any error message associated with the result set kon kon ka error message that the result set me the problem at which it is in my way explain to la bhai okay in cell c this function returns empty string if there is a no error if there is a error associated with the result parameter it returns false okay But if we return, it will return the false. PG result error returns any error message associated with the result message. Therefore, the user user has a better chance of getting the correct error message than the PG plus error. Okay, we are using this function. So previously we are using this. Now we are using PG result error function. Here is one example for PG error function. So double DB connects with PG connects. Here we are using the one database name or that. If not PG connection DB, if not okay, not PG connection DB, if not then we can access the database. So PG send query, you just PG send query. That is in database connection. So let's start from this. Okay. So here uh, you are using the query, the PG send query. Then after that, see the result one is the PG gate result. Here we are asking the Result, okay. This DB con result. Okay, you are using this. And echo PG result error dollar uh, error result is not. Okay, here you are using this function. Okay, this will display the error message associated with the result. Okay. These are the uh, different functions of accessing the database. Okay, in this session we had learned the different functions like PG fetch associated, PG fetch object, PG fetch result, PG fetch result example, PG num field, PG num road, PG result error. Okay, these are all about the discussion.